Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. <laughs> Addie, go ahead baby. She heard me start talking and so she stopped drinking and looked at me. Anyway, good morning you guys. How are you doing today? I hope that you are well and thank you so much uh, for watching yesterday's Vlogmas. Um, I am in a better mood today. Um, still not 100% better, but I'm in a better mood. I have three more hours until this thing comes off my finger. It is 11.05 a.m. Tuesday, the 21st of December. It's 50 degrees outside. We got down into the upper 30s last night. Today is the last really cool day. Tomorrow I think will be 69, then in the mid 70s, and then the heat wave. We are going to be in the middle to upper 80s um, for Christmas. And I'm gonna have a positive attitude about that. It has been a very warm December. Um, I think we've only had two or three days that have been worthy of a sweater. Um, Otherwise, it has felt like May around here. Um, May, we're typically in the upper 70s, you know, not upper 70s, we're in the 70s overnight and the 80s during the day. And that is what it has been. That's Yasmin. She has just, Yasmin, Mazze! Meow, 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 meow. Here she comes. She has been doing that all night and all day. Come on, come on, we're in here. Yes, I know. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know why she's doing that, but she is. Anyway, um, so it's just gonna be super duper warm and I am really hoping for January it's cooler, but for two weeks in January we're gonna be in the Caribbean. Um, and then, uh, so I really hope that January, February, and March we get the break that we need. We do need a couple of freezes so that we can at least kill off 2020s bugs and fleas and ticks and weeds and things like that. Otherwise, our bug season, our yellow season, our, uh, is going to be atrocious for lots of people. So we need a few freezes to at least, you know, take care of that. Right now, everything's very lush outside. Like it's, it's very lush. <laughs> My grass is super green. It's greener than it was in the summer. Anyway, so I washed my hair this morning and I actually flat ironed it, which was easier for me to control than, um, cause I could do this number, um, than the hair dryer. So that is probably how I'll be styling my hair going forward for the next few weeks while this is healing. Um, or once this is off, I'll have more control over my hand and I can actually grip the hair dryer. I don't really like to flat iron my hair because of the ends. Um, it, you know, I have to use a very high heat on my hair because I have very coarse, very thick hair. And if I don't use high heat, it's really pointless to flat iron because within a couple of hours, it'll look as though I hadn't even flat ironed it. Um, so. I've had Brazilian blowouts, I've had, which, you know, ooh, I just stepped myself, which, um, you know, they put that stuff in your hair and it's supposed to last like six or eight weeks or something and you're not supposed to have to really style your hair. Did not work on my hair. Um, was really ineffective on my hair. I think what I'm gonna go, do going forward, you know, hair talk with favor. I mean, do you really care? But I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I don't want it too much longer than this. I'll probably cut it in March, which will, you know, it'll probably be a couple inches longer. So I'll probably cut it in March back short again so that by the time I get to fall of next year, it'll be back long again. So um, I do like it shorter in the summer though because it's just so hot. So there we go. Okay, so what are we doing? Right now we're gonna go do our advents, but today is the big day. I get to go see my surgeon today and have this thing removed and then the splint removed and um, you know, see where I go, what happens next. And then um, I, we need to go to the mailbox, to the post office um, 
and drop off some returns and then we need to go to Costco, uh, I keep saying Sam's, Costco, H-E-B and Kroger. Um, I wanna go by Kroger, I don't need to go shopping in Kroger but I wanna go by Kroger, they always mark down their little miniature Christmas trees um, and this year I'm determined to keep it alive. I, I just, I, I had one that made it like three years, two or three years and then I killed it. And then last year in the freeze, just, that was it for it. The poor thing just had no chance. Even though it's an evergreen, I just, I think it wasn't hardy enough as it was because of me. So I definitely want to get one of those and I wanna nurture it and then I want to plant it in the ground. I don't know where, but somewhere in the ground. I have to be careful because my backyard is full of wires and electrical and cable and pipes and all sorts of stuff. It was a challenge putting the pool in was a big challenge. I'll take you with me to the doctor, the, the Costco, HEB, and probably not Kroger, because basically we're just gonna drive by and see if they're marked down yet. So that was my point. I wanna see if they're marked down, if they're marked down so I can pick one or two, or maybe more up. But typically the week of Christmas, they mark them down to about $5. So, yeah. Are you sitting by the fire? Are you cold, baby? Silly girl. Y'all, your comments have been coming in about this. You love it as much as I do. I just, oh, it makes me so happy. Those are from Costco. So, a couple of years ago, I have them all over my house. They take an awful lot of batteries. So I don't have them on year around, just at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, um, drying blankets. That's for the back of the couch. This is my blanket I got in FabFitFun or whatever it was. Um, I washed it so it's drying. 21, 21, and for 20, 20, 12, 7, 23, 21, 21. Big one, Rituals of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. That is huge, hello Yasmin. Excuse me, young lady. Come on, little girl, you have to get down. Oh, this one is always so hard for me to find, 23. Excuse you, excuse you. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, oops. Here is 21. All right, so we, <laughs> oh my goodness, Yasmin. Uh, hand cream, and this is an intensive hand balm for extremely dry skin, so nice. Uh, that seems perfect for this time of year. As soon as I can, I will use a hand, uh, these lotions. They just, I can't right now, the doctor said no. This has a sweet floral scent. I really like that, I'm going to enjoy that. All right, 21 is right up here on the top. Ooh, it's something very small. No hangies. Oh, uh, coal liner. Okay, I will pass that on to my daughter-in-law because I don't wear, oh, come out. I don't wear black eyeliner. But she will. Young lady, what, what are you doing? Oh, goodness, okay. You see, she gets her way. Ooh, oh, a toy. Oh, Mozzie's gonna love this one. Mozzie will like this one. Addie does not play with balls. This one's all spiky. Oh, the cats are gonna love that one. Mouses. Oh, she spots it. Want it? You want it? Come get it. Gotta come around. <laughs> you came over for the ball, but now you just want love. Okay, all right, day. We did seven, yeah, day eight. Oh my goodness, yes, men. Oh, that one's pretty. Smoky blue color. Apple blue clover. Oh, these are all marked down right now on, um, I think it's Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's, one or the other. Oh, oh man. It smells like a floral soapy 
clean, delicious, delightful scent. It leaked, I guess, down the side. You guys, this calendar is on sale. And I wanted to show you something, and I hope Heather got hers out. Hang on. I did not know about this until I was reading. It's a wick trimmer. Heather, did you pull yours out? I hope that you did. So there we go. I'm very happy to have that. Um, so I don't know if that was one of the days, like see this one's closed and this one, um, but I need it. So I'm going to pull it out. We're piling up my beautiful picture from my friends. My beautiful picture from my friend. Just love that picture. The boys, when they come home, they always stare at it. Precious babies. Anyway, um, so yeah. So let me trim these wicks. I don't know that they need trimming. Mm, they're pretty good. There we go. It's off. Good. Replaced with another one, but it's off, and I can see it. And y'all, it's gross. It's so gross. It's gonna be a while before my finger is back to normal, but I can bend my finger, which is something I've been needing to do for days now. <laughs> so. And you got to see the pictures of the surgery. I did, which was really gross. We're gonna cut Robert's hair this afternoon. I have a reminder set in Alexa to remind me to cut poor Robert's hair. We are headed to Kroger so I can get my little Christmas trees if they're marked down. And then we're gonna go to the mailbox, post office, and drop off um, returns which are in the trunk. Then we're gonna go to Costco and HEB. And then this poor man can finally go home because this is a crazy week for him because it's Christmas. So, but he's not allowed to talk, so we don't care what he has to say. I didn't mean to derail you, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, they don't have any. They only have the little um, cut trees. Oh well, we'll look, we'll look at H-E-B. Dang. I always wanna try these and I never get them. I'm wondering if I should actually try them this time. These are yummy though. Mm. Christmas is coming, I should get some of those. I don't know. Oh, no, no A2 milk. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank goodness. And eggs. Lots of eggs. Toilet paper. Got lots of cheese and stuff for a Greek salad because that is just what I am craving. I'm going to get the lettuce at... Uh... Did you say sorry? Yes, I did. <laughs> Get the lettuce at H-E-B. I don't need the gigantic Costco size. Down there, honey. All right, I normally get this, but Robert brought home Tide. And it smells so nice. I think I'm gonna get, oh, that's Tide with Downy. No. Ooh. I don't know, I think we're gonna go back to our normal. Gain's not too bad, we will get Gain. I usually get this because of the OxyClean. I think I'll get game this time. Oh, wrong aisle. It's on that aisle and I don't, oh, they do have them. Oh, good, 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 good. are really good. I enjoy those. All right. Walnuts and pecans, but, and broccoli. International hot dogs. Oh, bacon. Good grief. Almost forgot the bacon. Uh-oh. Where is, oh, there it is. So if you want to get your dog one, look for me. 
zoom you out. Addie's Nine Nights are on sale for $25. That's crazy. That's a great price. We just bought, we just bought one, yeah. Yeah. All right, let me find the walnuts and the pecans. Ooh, salmon. Y'all, that barbecue over there smelled so good. All right, where, there they are, I see them. Mmm, all the gluten. Mmm. So here's the almond flour I always get. Gluten-free, cup for cup, which is nice to see here. And then we have this one. Fudgy brownies. Oh, nice. Miss John's baking. Oh, they're on sale. Yeah, we need to look for gluten-free. Grain-free usually means gluten-free, but you have to be super careful. So we have almond flour, erythritol, cocoa, chicory root, baking powder. It's even corn-free oh, baking powder. Certified, certified gluten. Glu okay. Yeah, we'll try them. They're on sale. $8.99. Okay. Yeah. Mrs. Jones pumpkin bread. Is that... No, that's whole wheat. <laughs> I should have known by the price. Organic. Yeah. Ginger garlic paste. Mm, this stuff is so good. Alrighty. So we found these. Certainly, they don't say gluten free, but there are no gluten ingredients in this. And they just may not have their certification yet. It's made with almond flour. I don't know, Robert's checking, he's Googling. Looking for tomato sauce. All right, we'll find it while he's Googling. Not gluten-free. Wah, wah. So there you go. Lots of uh, regular old stuff. I didn't find um, spaghetti sauce, so I just got some tomato sauce and tomato paste. That'll work with some chicken stuff. All comes out to be the same. Yay, I cannot wait to get home and make a Greek salad. I am so ready to eat that and a steak. All right, HEB has them, but they're still full price. $29.98. And um, the little ones should be good. Yeah, that's what I want, but not, not that price. Look how big the poinsettia are. Woo! See, that's the little bitty, well, that's not a rosemary one, but I don't want to, I want a bigger one. See this, honey? Babe, that's what you're watching for. Mmm, y'all, there is nothing like ATB's bakery. Oh, it's so yummy. All right, let me go get some celery and some onions. Oh, Robert, stop, he's getting something. Mm. Y'all, I'm hungry. I should not be shopping. Oh, it's dangerous, dangerous combination. So good. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah. I just I just looked at that. That looks so good. You wanna try it? No? It's calling my name. So much. I mean it's just Tons of pre-made food. It's so I so appreciate that. Mm, gosh, I mean I can't eat 90% of it, but oh, it still looks delicious. Mm. And 
then we have, they cook here and you can buy all the ingredients. I love H-E-B, y'all. It's my favorite, favorite store on the planet. Mm. All right, let me get to shopping. Jeez. That's my favorite spot right there, the cheese counter. My reward. Yep. It's my favorite. Okay, maybe Dr. Pepper Zero is inching it out of it, inching its way on top of the H-E-B Coke Zero. Or Cola, original, Zero Original Cola. <laughs> oh, dude, wrong way. <laughs> Can't go that way. Anyway, H-E-B was happening. I showed you a little bit, but. Oh, that restaurant closed. Oh, it did close. There was a nail salon there too, it closed. Um, yeah, H-E-B was very, very busy. I mean, it's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, before Christmas, so yeah, a little busy. I, I, I didn't even think, I knew it was the week of Christmas, but like when the nurse, the receptionist at the um, doctor's office was making my follow-up for next week, I was like, oh yeah, next week is Christmas, and she was like, no, this week is Christmas. I was like, oh my gosh. Is that your new favorite spot? I don't blame you. Mouses. Yasmin. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Keeping warm, little girl. <laughs> Are we going to have to change your name to In the Way? You're, you're so cute, little girl. It does happen a hard time. You want to smell mommy's finger? Here, mommy. No, oh, yeah, smell the cat. That's Yasmin. Here, now you can smell. Mommy's okay. Are you the princess? It's a good thing they can't smell you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we had a very not so tasty steak. Yeah. It, it was fine. It wasn't a butcher box steak. It was one that we had picked up at Kroger Markdown. Now we know why. Now we know why. It was very fatty and just wasn't 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 a good one. We picked it up a while back. It was just in the freezer. I defrosted it a couple days or yesterday. So anyway, all right. Um, and I did make my Greek salad. Not the full one, but I got red and green bell peppers and tomato and cucumber and feta. It did the trick for tonight, but tomorrow I'll have a full on. Salad. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us, running around today. And uh, I'm, I didn't show you a, a um, haul because, you know, I kind of took you with me and basically showed you most of it. So, anyway. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe before you go. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.